Solon Mojamia. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. And uh, my son is called Fenidad Motugi, who is suffering from a muscular dystrophy, Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It was that by the age of six, it was a bit more evident, and we tried to look for ways and means to help him. Of course, we went to Nairobi, uh, sought a meditation from the doctors, and uh, they told us that uh, like, there was no cure for it in the whole world. But I remember the neurologist was seeing my son mentioning of a stem cell, which was under research. That was two years ago. And uh, when I went to the internet, I saw the stem Rex. I was more interested in knowing, getting information about it. That's the point where I called Dr. Mahajan and he explained to me, yes, he can do something to help the boy. And uh, he promised me that uh, it is possible with the stem cell procedures, the stem cell operations, that the muscles can come back to, to reality. And that's when I made an appointment to come over. And I've seen a lot of improvement with my son. He's been uh, stri struggling a lot to walk. Like the whole of this time he has not gone back to school because of uh, the working difficulties. But I, I can see there is now hope. With the stem cell procedure which was done uh, when we came, Saturday, the first uh, Saturday that when we came on um, that on, uh, on um, seven, I think on 17th of March, I'm not sure of the dates, and the other stem cell, stem cell which was done yesterday, I have seen a lot of uh, improvement in terms of the, you know, the walking, the waking up, the exercises, which was, it was uh, not able to do a lot, I can see some of them is doing on his own. Lifting of the weak leg, it's now very easy for him because of the uh, physiotherapy, which has been going on with her, Dr. Asha. And also the acupuncture on a daily basis, which, is, which has been there for 15 days, which has been so intense, I've seen a lot of improvement on him. And I'm hoping for the best. And I've seen a lot of appetite from him. Like every time he wants to eat, he wants to eat. I think the medication is being a wonder to him. And I'm hoping to see him running. Of course, in terms of running, uh, walking, he's able to step one of the left foot down, which was not able to, to step when he was uh, not given, when the medication was not uh, given to him. But now as he walks, he can step the foot down of his uh, left leg and I'm also hoping with the continuous uh, physiotherapy the right foot which is a bit weak will be able to step down uh, as well. The physiotherapist has told me a lot of the exercises that we have to do back in Kenya which will make the stem cell procedure more effective and I'll follow the um, procedures to make sure next time when you come for the visit in June he'll be able to even be more, more to be up to have a lot of mobility and also like he'll be able to support himself. Put your hands on. Kabisa. Down. Is it? Yes. Move your legs. Yeah, start, start here. Yeah. How is pain now? Have you return? Okay, return. I'm using wrong words. Is to walk like this first? Walking, yeah, still uh, a challenge. 